Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Sutton's Days. And today is September 1st. Today is the beginning of National Preparedness Month. Here in the United States, September is designated National Preparedness Month. Its inception was created in 2004 by FEMA and uh, in collaboration with a few different national organizations, okay? And it's to bring preparedness to the forefront, to make people uh, pause, hopefully, <laughs> and think about it in different ways that they can become prepared. Being prepared is as unique as your eye color, your hair color, your facial features, okay? Um, being unique it, in where you're at and the things that you have to deal with. Now, there's not only the preparedness with weather, hurricanes, wildfires, freezing cold, or very, very hot, okay? Um, there's also with job loss, with illness, um, you know, there's any number of reasons that being prepared is a really great thing to do. I thought that this would be a really great uh, topic to discuss for the entire month of September, especially in conjunction with hashtag Project Pantry, um, because that is what we are focusing on. That is what we are thinking about with our Project Pantries, okay, is the working short-term and long-term pantries and being prepared in case of an emergency. So... Um, please excuse me if I look at my notes on occasion because there's a lot of information here to get started. So different ways that you can, uh, different ways that you can become prepared um, will be the topic every day for the entire month of September. Today we're going to focus mainly on the plan. Do you have a plan? Are you sure you have a plan? Does everyone in your household know that you have a plan? <laughs> okay, because that right there, that's the trick. Um, Different things that you can discuss, okay, and I'm going to kind of read these down, is um, the best way out. So if there's a fire, if there's anything happening in the house that you need to get out, what is the best way out? What is the, the place that you'll meet when you get out? Who, you know, is grabbing what? Um, the animals. Don't forget the animals, okay? Um, your, your emergency binder. Great thing to be able to grab and go if you can, okay? So the best way out. Now, that's not just like fire. That's like say you have to evacuate and you have 15 minutes. They have just knocked on your door and told you that you have 15 minutes to grab what you can and get it in your car and go, period, okay? Where's your emergency binder? Where's your pets? Where's your pet's food? Where's your kids? Where's your necessary medications? What is the best route out of the area that you're in? That's all stuff to think about depending on where you're located and the natural disasters or emergencies that you may uh, be involved, you know, with peripherally, okay? So once you're out, where do you go? There's a, there's a question. So say something happens in the house and you need to get out of the house. Where does the family meet once you get out of the house? Say you have to evacuate. Where do you go from there? You have, especially if you have pets, especially if you have children. Okay, you need to know where you're going to. Um, you need to pick an emergency contact person outside of your immediate area. Okay, so here locally, you know, sure, you can pick, you know, 20 people within a mile radius, right? Maybe. Um, but who's that person the next town over? Who's that person 30 miles away, 40 miles away, 50 miles away in case of an emergency that you can get, you know, that you can go to? Um, so make some emergency contacts. I would say make more than one. Okay. Um, don't forget, don't forget to plan for your, for your pet. That's definitely a big thing. Now, <sighs> With all of this in mind, okay, you're going to go through and you're going to you're going to make your plan and all the stuff that we're going to talk about later on this month. But without it being a habit, without it being something that you think about on a regular basis, um, that's just kind of go in, out. Okay, we did that exercise. We're done. We're prepared now, right? No. Mark your calendar. If you're a calendar freak like I am, and that's where you have to put your information to make sure that you do it, mark your calendar and make it a priority to at least at least twice a year, okay? Preferably quarterly. Um, at least twice a year, go through your plan. Refresh your plan. Make sure that everyone in the household is aware of your plan. Especially if you've got kids as they grow, you know, you're going to want to make sure to refresh them on the plan. Um, if the kids are in school when a disaster happens, what happens? Think about that. That's something to seriously consider, okay? Um, getting help. 
So if you have young kids, make sure they understand the importance of dialing 911, when to do it, when not to do it. Um, keep practicing. Keep practicing all the different exercises with them in case of fire, in case of evacuation, in case you have to call 911 if something happens to mom, dad, grandma, whoever, okay? Um, if you're comfortable with it, uh, because I know that I'm not always comfortable with it, it's a great time to start building the community that you live in, building, building that com community within a community, okay? Who are your preparedness friends locally to you in your community that you know that are also on this path that might might help you out if you need help or you could help out if they need help you know that kind of thing um and what happens if you're at work and something happens okay that's that's huge i mean i know i've had that discussion with phil phil predominantly is at home and i predominantly am at the office and so one day i looked at him and i said okay Let's say worst case scenario, because I read too many books, worst case scenario, an EMP strike, okay? What are you going to do? He goes, I'm going to come get you. I said, no, you're not. No, you're not. You have to stay here. You have to stay at the house, and I will get here. You can trust me on that one. I will get here, okay? So, I mean, without verbalizing that and say something like that happened, he would have just worked his way trying to get to me. But I may have been taking a completely different route to get back here, and we would have passed each other, and it would have caused even more problems, even more emergency situations, okay? So you need to talk to your family, work through some different situations, um, mark those calendars, get that on the calendars, but the first thing to do is just start. Just grab your calendar today. And mark a day on that calendar when you and your household are going to sit down together and have a serious discussion regarding emergencies and what you're going to do, okay? And what you need to learn and what you need to stock up on. We'll work on that throughout the month, but to begin, just a plan. Uh, you know, the simple things that I just discussed with you, you know? Work through with your family on those conversations. I hope that you do that because it's really important um, it's, it's an insurance policy and, and that's what the pantry is all about. It's an insurance policy against disaster, against problems, against trouble. I hope that you tune in tomorrow for the discussion tomorrow. These are all going to be pretty short, pretty brief, and I hope that you come back and join us every day for the month of September. If you liked what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And until next time, 